gone. She gone. She gone. They going behind the boat. They going behind the boat. Behind the boat. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Got him. Oh my God! Let's, let's go. go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to NB Edits. Now today, you can tell, I'm starting in a little bit of a different scenery. I am next to a busy road, which uh, I'm not normally next to. But today, I am doing something that I have wanted to film and already tried to film multiple times. And as you read by the title and that little intro scene, I'm gonna be doing some musky fishing. Now, I'm not only gonna be doing it by myself, I'm actually gonna be going out with somebody who is going to be guiding me and showing me exactly how to catch these fish. Now, the place that I am at today, I'll go ahead and turn it around. We are at Taps and Tackle. Now, if I go ahead, and walk inside here, go ahead and meet the guy behind it all. What is going on? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Fresh cold one for you. It's going great. Wow, what service. Look at that. New seltzer on tap for the 4th of July. Tastes like a popsicle. Well guys, we have made it inside of the shop and you're probably wondering why I just got served a beer as soon as I walked in the door. Now that is because the name is Taps and Tackle. And uh, obviously, you can see behind me, there's Tackle. And in front of me, there's Taps. All beer. Lots of kinds of beer. And this is the guy that runs the whole thing. How you guys doing? Introduce yourself and tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Joseph Wojohuski. I own Taps and Tackle with my business partner who owns the liquor store, The Bottle Stop, right next to us in Stevens Point, Park Ridge. Uh, located right across the street from the store gas station, just a couple miles off of the interstate. Uh, we got a huge selection of custom tackle, bass tackle, walleye tackle, and our specialty, obviously, musky tackle. Come in and browse our bait, stop, bait, bait shop. Uh, take a look around. We got a bunch of different stuff: trolling motors, uh, electronics, Garmin's, Dakota lithium batteries. You pretty much name it. And uh, the best part is you can have a beer while, you, while you're here. Well, obviously, you guys can tell that we are going to be going musky fishing. Before we go, real quick, just want to give you guys like a rundown of the shop, and then also we're gonna talk about. Uh, three top lures if you're new to musky fishing that will get you a musky. Now, I'm obviously new, so most likely I'm going to be throwing one of these three baits tonight in hopes to get a musky. So if I go ahead and turn around. So if you're new to musky fishing and you had to pick three baits, my first bait, number one, all black bucktail. Um, you can use, this is just a single, any size is great. This one's kind of cool. They've been and they spring back the titanium shaft on them. Number two, top water, prop bait. If you uh, bass fish and you know what a whopper plopper is, this is basically one for muskies. They may come in this size and, and much, much bigger. And then the last one, just a swim bait. It's our natural sucker pattern, 3D pattern. You just straight retrieve this thing. This thing has a really awesome wobble on it. Really easy to retrieve, uh, really no technique needed, Just start reeling and uh, if you had to just go out and throw one bait I would throw this personally that will catch you a fish so you guys can get some Dakota lithium here at the store and then if I keep panning around you got your walleye and bass stuff over here you got your merch keep going you got just every musky lure you could imagine all along this wall I have no idea what really any of these are but they've got them we got rods and of course beer. We're gonna go ahead wrap this up and uh, we're gonna get out on the water because we are limited on time and hopefully we can raise a muscle. All right, well, gonna be putting the first lure of choice on and like we we're talking about in the intro um probably going to be using one of the three top lures to catch muskie and would you look at that this is a black bucktail and yeah that's uh kind of going to be the ticket 
go ahead and just toss this around about a million times hopefully you know the fishing gods are on our side tonight and we can see some muskies like i said previously we've uh, tried to film this video and um didn't go as planned but that's musky fishing and it's a new day it's nice out and uh, we're gonna see if the fish want to bite got 10 feet left You gotta go more left than that. More left. Oh, you, you were close actually. You, put, you, you turned them a little bit. Cast three feet to the left of where you just did. Oh, wait, wait, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight. Oh yeah, I saw him. Just keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. I saw just a flash of yep. him. Okay, he dipped. Cast us back to that one out there. Follow number one. All right, that didn't take too long. Those are two muskies. Looks like sitting like at a 45, like tail to tail. There's another one. That should just be just close to us here. We just cast it on these guys. Oh yeah, there he is, look yeah. he's behind it. Three of them, just right next to each other. Well, you guys, as you can see, we found the muskies. Now, what happened in that little series of events was I had a follow. There's another one. 30 feet here. Look at here, that. Here, now watch, let me see if I can cast on it. I don't know where I am. I don't either. He's moving. Usually when they're swimming. Oh yeah, you gotta go like 20 feet to the left. We'll come back on him. Uh, usually when these fish are completely stationary, you can target them. Look at that one. Look at that one. Just showed up right next to the boat. Wow. Here, let's see if I can figure it out. That's insane. <laughs> oh yeah, he's on you. Is he? Yeah, he was. He just pulled up. Yeah, he's there in the area. He was keys on me. James. He did like a big loop around. Did he? Yeah. I never Actually. saw him. It was pretty wide. You I got his attention when you went up for the eight. Uh-huh. Well, things got chaotic. I was trying to tell you guys kind of what's going on here. Uh, I had a follow, kind of just flash it out of the boat. And then uh, a couple casts later, um, I had one kind of bump into it and uh, it followed pretty pretty heavily. We found like four of them. And as you can tell from that footage, uh, we're just using live scope perspective mode and it's super easy to find these fish and basically uh, just sand where they are, cast in front of them and see if they turn and you can follow them all the way in and uh, see if they're following you on the figure eight, which is super crazy, but we've already got some action. Ah, man, my heart is pumping. Dude, that was crazy. Yeah, that was I didn't even catch one and I'm already so, pretty pumped. It, like being new to the channel, you know, if you're a new musky fisherman, there's like moon events uh, that us musky fishermen rely heavily upon. And it's usually when the moon is rising, overhead, setting, and underfoot. And I use an app, it's called So Fish So Lunar. And as you can tell, we're coming up to a peak right now. So hopefully those fish will hit, I don't know, about 7.45, 8 o'clock we'll call it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You just run it past them. Oh yeah. Big turns, big turns, big turns. Oh, he was hot. Keep going, on keep it. going, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, he's on it, he's on it. God. 
right on the outside turn. God, I like how prepared you are with that net. <sighs> well, would you look at the time, 7.48. Last time I pulled up the big camera, Joseph was saying uh, 7.45, he was thinking. Yeah, so I said 7.45, 8 o'clock is gonna be the time, and we're still in that window, so we're gonna get back to casting, because these, these fish are pretty hot right now. Well, you know, I see why everybody musky fishes. Um, this is definitely something that I just, I'd never really explored, mainly because one, it was expensive compared to other types of fishing, and two, I never had the patience, and three, uh, filming all day, like, for one bite in previous time was absurd to me. Now I've gotten lucky enough to be able to, like, actually have a good setup. But man, you could cast about 3,000 times, and then when you get that one, uh, it was already worth it. I mean, I don't even have to catch a fish, and it was definitely worth it. But we're going to catch a fish because these fish are hot. We've, we're on them. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing to do besides cast. We're in that prime time. And, uh, yeah, hopefully the next time I pull up the big camera, it's going to be showing you guys a big old muskie. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Got him. Oh my God, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I did it. Not a bad one either, dude. Dude, you, you barely. Barely got him. Right in the mouth. Right in the upper lip. A really good hook set. Oh, See, no. I worked my way up. I'm gonna hold this net. There we go. Got it. We're out. Guys, live scope, frickin' perspective mode. <sighs> Absolutely insane. I never even saw that fish, just like the other couple. And uh, Joseph just kept on directing me where I should be doing my figure eight. Kept on saying, obviously you saw in the clip, but behind the boat, behind the boat. And I was pretty much, I made like three or four turns right by the motor before he actually hit. <sighs> right. Crazy. I went from seeing one, hooking one, to catching one. Unbelievable. So part of the DNR's study with uh, muskies is they pit tag. Uh, stocked muskies and recaptured muskies when they do their surveys so they give a bunch of anglers uh, myself included a bunch of guys a part of the wisconsin league of muska musky uh league there we get readers so we're just going to give this uh fish a quick scan here and usually if there's a tag in it it'll just pop up pretty much almost instantly no tag on this thing um but it really goes a long way to studying muskies and seeing where they move in the Wisconsin River. It's really cool, so. Get the pump board wet. Just gonna put, get a quick pump on them here. So pretty chill just in there. Nice fish, dude. We got 38 and three quarters. Put back in the net. Well, I have caught a few muskies in my day, but I have never caught one actually musky fishing. So this pretty much is like a first for me. Let's get a nice tight grip. There you go. 
hand underneath the belly. <sighs> nice, dude. Man, that is so rewarding, I tell you what. All right, set him down here. Nice job. Yeah, there you go. Just hold, just hold him right there. Man, you're gonna get me hooked on musky fishing. That's what you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nice job, dude. Wow. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Let's go. All right, you guys. Well, just got back. Got the boat up on the launch. We got her done. We absolutely <laughs> got her done. Unbelievable. Start to finish, I mean, we had a lot of action. We, well, I had first... I don't know, probably 20 minutes we had a follow yep. and like multiple fish in the area. Had one that I missed, but uh, you know, we got her done right at the end. You were being a That's great it. guide. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's all you were here for. We just directed it. It was, uh, it's pretty sweet to see when it, when it all comes together. Yeah. It really is. And like I said, we tried filming this before, but it's, it's musky fishing. I mean, you could come back here tomorrow and expect the same exact thing which you probably have done and it's it might, different every day yeah, it might not be the same which is crazy i see why everybody you know is so crazy about these fish because i mean i was fine without even catching the one just that one that i hooked was enough to make me want to go do it again so thank you very You're much welcome. for taking yeah, me out i had a blast if you guys want to check out well for one taps and tackle if you guys are in the central wisconsin area and you want to stop in have a beer he's there pretty much yep. what every day pretty right? much yep six days a week we also have taps and tackle co.com we have all of our custom musky baits uh, online and we have our social medias taps and tackle co you can get a hold of us there uh we're really uh we have a great online community with a lot of support so it's it's been a great great uh year and a half that we've been in business yeah, so if you guys, I mean, I'm from central Wisconsin, to drive to Point, not a big deal. Have a beer, talk some fishing, grab some tackle, definitely goes a long way. And uh, if you guys also want, you also guide too, I right? do. So if you guys want to actually get out with him, um, I'm going to leave everything down in the description. Pretty much anything that you want to know about this guy or Taps and Tackle, it'll be down in the description. Yeah, just uh, visit our social medias, you know, tapsandtackleco.com yeah. or on Facebook, Instagram, all the good stuff. So. Well, with that being said, I guess uh, there's really nothing left for me to do besides turn the camera off, get in my truck, and drive home. So I appreciate you guys sticking with it. This is, I believe... Maybe the first musky video. I think we may have one other musky video on the channel, but uh, that's probably from like four or five years ago. So if you guys like the musky content and uh, want to see more of it, um, I don't know about myself going out and trying to pursue uh, the elusive musky by myself quite yet. But um, if you guys want to see more musky fishing, let me know. Uh, it's definitely something I would like to get back into. And I don't know. I had a I had a blast so if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed uh we're gonna try to post as much as we can during the summer months but it's really hard because uh it's very busy and obviously with warm weather you got a lot going on with friends and family as well so we're gonna try to upload as much as we possibly can but stay tuned guys there will be more coming very very soon again that's all i have i'm gonna get on out of here thank you guys again for watching i will catch you guys on the next one tight lines from nb edits